Thomas's branch line is important, and so is Edmund's. But their track and bridges are not so strong as those on the main line. The FAC controller does not allow the heavier main line engines like Gordon to run on them. But one day, the way Gordon was talking, you would have thought the FAC controller had given this order for quite another reason. It's not fair, grumbled Gordon. What isn't fair, asked Edward. Letting branch line diesels pull main line trains. Never mind, Gordon. I'm sure Boko will let you pull his truck sometime. Gordon spluttered. I won't pull Boko's dirty trucks. I won't run on branch lines. Why not? Would be a nice change. The fat controller would never approve, huffed Gordon. Branch lines are vulgar. Gordon puffed away. Edward chuckled and followed him to the station. Every evening, the two engines pull two fast trains from the station. Gordon always leaves first with an express for the main line. Edward follows five minutes later with his train for the branch line. Usually everything runs like clockwork, but tonight there was trouble. A lady in a green floppy hat was saying goodbye to a friend. It was nearly time for Gordon to start. The fireman looked back towards the guard's van and saw something green waving. Right away, mate. He thought the guard had waved his flag. Gordon started, leaving luggage, his passengers and the guard all standing on the platform. Everyone was very surprised and cross. To make matters worse, by the time Gordon had been stopped and brought back, Edward was already late with his train. So now he set off first. But the signalman at the junction wasn't told about the change. By mistake, he sent Edward along the main line. arrived cold and cross on one of the sidings near the harbour. Next morning, Bill and Ben peeped into the yard. There were no trucks for them. They didn't mind that. Teasing Gordon would be much better fun. What's that? asked Bill. Shh, whispered Ben. It's Gordon. It looks like Gordon, but it can't be. Gordon never comes on the branch lines. He thinks them vulgar. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard them. If it isn't Gordon, said Ben, it's just a pile of old iron, which we'd better take to the scrapyard. No, Bill, this lot's useless for scrap. We'll take it to the harbor and dump it in the sea. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop, stop. <laughs> When Boko suddenly arrived, Gordon thought him the most beautiful sight he had ever seen. Boko, my dear engine, save me! Boko quickly sized up the situation and threatened to take away the trucks he had brought for Bill and Ben. This made the twins behave at once. Gordon thought he was wonderful. Those little demons, how do you do it? Oh, well, said Boko, it's just a knack. Gordon still believes that Boko saved his life. But we know the twins were only teasing, don't we?